First, we're going to download Java. We have to make sure the Java is installed in the Mac OS. If you know, the H2 database will not work. So we're going to go to the website and download the latest version for Mac OS. Okay, once it's downloaded, we're going to double click. We're going to open the package, install it. Going to ask it for permissions. Go ahead, go ahead and open it. You're going to run the installation. Going to ask you for your registration password to authorize the installation. If you have it set up that way, mine is set up this way. Okay. Downloading all the information now is installed. I'm going to make sure they have rights. Should be one over here, over here. Okay, it's right there. And yeah, it's authorized to run. Close that. We close this. And now we know that we have installed. Once we have installed, then we come back to the website where uh, we have the H2 database. Right here, I'll put a link in the description. You can download this one, the platform. this download we're going to install it and it's a C file so it's going to open it and we're going to tell them we're going to find the H2 I have few installs so that's why I say H2 3 H2 2 but you find the one that's going to say H2 you're going to bend in the bend you're going to open it with the Java launcher it's going to tell you that you want to authorize to open it and now we have it. Once it's installed, it's a local database. You can change it if you want to add a password or not. But you just click connect and write it. You have it so installed, it's running your local machine. And here you can start doing your queries. You can create tablets. You can create your database first. Um, and this is all the helps uh, samples uh, SQL scripts that you can use to create tablets to create the database. It's really simple. It's really easy to use. I will be making more videos about it. If you have any questions, just go ahead and let me know. But it's really easy to use. Remember, download JavaScript first. You da download the Java from the Java website. Okay, I'm gonna show you. Um, a database was created for school and this is all the tables to create right here remember we have the database now we have all the parameters to use to create a database this is all the tables we can create we can get copy we're gonna paste it right there, paste, and we're gonna run it. And now you can see it create all the tables. Now come back again, clear this. And now we're gonna do all the joins, copy all those. This is all the database. Copy, we paste it, we run it, we should go here, run, it creates all the information again. That's how we built EC database. We have more right here that we need to add to our database. Okay. 
paste it, run it, and now it's created. Now we have the full database built into H2, H2 database um, application. Um, if you're going to school, this is pretty much the one that you're going to be using. Um, it's easy to start in Windows as Mac. Uh, it's a little bit different, but they're all simple steps. You can see we have all our tables. We have all the information, make sure we have everything there. And that's the easy way for you to start practicing uh, scripts and uh, queries. Now, if you have any other questions, let me know. I'm be happy to help you. But well, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys found this video easy. Please subscribe and like. I will be making more videos about queries and SQL and databases. Or if you have another question or another type of video that you would like to see, please let me know. Leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you.